Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Dig, with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, we did some alien electrical engineering with some light bridges, we fixed it up a bit, and we also came back to the tomb and uncovered, with the help of some lenses and some light rays and some shutters and some rods, a statue. A statue and possibly an elevator down. Uh, we did a little bit of map exploring as well last episode and realised there may be more to this tomb than meets the eye. And, what do you know? There was. Uh, so before we go down, I kind of forgot to mention last episode. Look! This this is actually a, a, gives you an idea of what the aliens look like. Well, possibly. It might be alien's pet. It might be... Uh, uh, pff, I don't know. Anything. But this could be. This is the first time we've actually seen something that looks like... It almost looks a bit like um, in the museum, in the museum spire, when we saw those weird displays. They kind of looked a bit like chickeny things. I mean, they could be like wings and claws. Who knows? What does what does uh, Lowe say about it? I worry this statue is life-sized. Yes, that is also an issue as well. Uh, it's pretty damn big. Pretty damn big. Okay, well. Enough delaying. Let's get on and see what happens. I hope I don't get kicked out for destroying the exhibit. Okay, we just destroyed a precious alien artifact. Great. Are you going to get on then, though? Oh, I had to click there. Picky. Down we go. Oh, wasn't that a great bit of animation there? Tying in the the, the pixel uh, drawings to the 3D. Oh, that is really nice. Very smooth. Okay, so now we're down here. We can go back up, which is good. We're not trapped down here. That's very good. Where can we go? Can we go that direction? Are you going to pan across at all? No. What about this way? Can we go anywhere? I'd hope so. <laughs> this wasn't for nothing. Oh, okay, we can go this way. Right. What lies ahead then, I wonder? Hopefully some answers. Anything here? No. Ooh, okay. So we have a door, some broken bones. What do we... Let's have a look at the broken bones then. Suddenly we've got guard dogs. Where did he come from anyway? Whoa. That was weird. And that thing is ugly. So a life crystal dropped out of a hole next to the door and brought this bunch of broken bones back to life. Oh, that is making some horrible noises as well. He just rose up out of a pile of bones near the door. After a crystal fell from the wall. Not a bad system of keeping guard dogs around. Even if they die of old age, just drop a crystal on them and there he is again, barking his brains out. Oh, these poor immortal freaky mutant dogs. Well crap, that means we can't get to the door because that thing will eat us alive, I'm sure. Let's see what happens if we try and go close. Yep. Okay. That's a definite no. That creature won't let me near the door. In that case, I do wonder, there is a second set of broken bones. Can we bring that one back to life? Are these friendly with each other? Mm, let's find out. Throw one of those over there. Look. It's the ugly twins. Oh my god. Oh. That worked out rather well. 
Well, I suppose so, but kind of gruesome as well. These, I was going to say these poor dog things, but I, I guess they are evil. But they just got crushed by a boulder. Dead guards, covered in blood. That'll teach you guys not to mess with Boston Low. Space Commander. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it sounds like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> okay, well, that's taken care of them, I guess. Can we go through the door now? I can't get it open. Oh, well, there's a panel. Okay. A life crystal fell from this slot and resurrected that guardian creature. Oh, no. That's just a slot. Okay, how do I open the door then? Um. Do you have to put something in the slot, maybe? It looks like there's buttons there, doesn't it? Like those things. A life things. crystal fell from this. Be quiet. I can't get it open. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a think about this. Oh, hang on. What's that? Is that just blood on the ground? Yeah, I thought that might be a rod. Slot. What can we put into a slot, I wonder? Um, let's try that. That could be a really bad idea. Oh, okay. Uh, what about... These, I doubt we're doing it. Oh, what about the... Um, what about the... <gasps> yes, look, the colour of the door. I'm such an idiot. That kind of matches with the... Um... With the rod we got. The door evaporated when the engraving touched the slot. This is the engraving we found in the shipwreck. The one the first ghost gave us. This must be where the ghost wanted us to come all along. Wow, okay, so that, yeah. Lowe was right, that's the first thing we got from the ghost. Way back at the top. That seems like so long ago now. So that worked with that door. Which must mean it's a very important door. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta stop. You just gotta stop and listen and, and look and and savour. Savour the sights. The little bird bat things flying. Wow. So what do we have here then? Obviously there's a giant pyramid there. What is this? Maggie, I found something. It's far below the tomb, past some pretty ugly guards. A dead alien sealed inside a crystal pyramid. Sounds like they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. Must have been important to them. A king or something. Or it terrified them. Remember, this is the land of the life crystals. Dead doesn't necessarily mean dead dead. Maybe they were trying to keep it from being found and revived. But this is where the ghost wanted us to go. The key to the last door was the key that the first ghost showed us, back in the ruined spaceship. Still, you don't have a key to the pyramid, right? Besides, how do you know the ghost is our friend? Brink died by digging where the ghost pointed. I hate not having enough information. I'm working as fast as I can to get this stuff translated. I'm so close, I can taste it. Fine, keep working. Call me if you think of anything helpful. Okay. You know, I hate to say it, but... Robbins does have a point. This could either be, like Lowe said, a sort of king. The king alien that's almost like a, a yeah, like a tomb. Because this is a tomb. So it's been put away like, like Tutankhamun, ancient Egypt. Or it could be something they're trying to lock away, like a prison. Alien corpse. Hmm. It's the remains of a huge creature. So that statue was life size, it seems, because it kind of looks. I'm, I'm assuming that's the same creature. I can kind of see wings there. What's on this panel? Looks like a panel. Looks like a panel. Can we do this again? Yes. Right, so there's the pyramid out of the way. Do we want it's the to. the remains of a huge. Shut up. Shut up, Lou. Do we want to drop a life crystal? Well, we've come this far. What's the worst that can happen? He's very tall. Or I'm very short. I wish I didn't keep thinking of the term bite size. Please be friendly. I hope you're friendly. I'm certainly friendly. Let's all be friends. 
Daham Chiainak, Trestelum, Kala Tisia Nea Um, Eklash Park. Oh god, we're talking to him. <laughs> we're talking to him, what do we do? Well, he's not eating us, so that's a good start. Aslo says, we'll be friendly. Friendly, friendly, friendly. Right, so... I didn't understand what you said there, but we can still ask, what are you? Who are you? Yes, yes, of course. Um... Just nod, nod and smile, nod and smile. Uh, what about the, the library? Maggie Robbins, one of my crew members. She's working on learning your language back in the library. We really want to learn everything we can from you. Yeah, classic, classic stuff. Oh, uh, uh, here, yeah, here, classic or something, right? Can we understand anything he says? I'm beginning to think no. What about the ghost? What are those ghosts that were giving us hints now and then? Nayak Najutsu. Nayak Natsu. Ah, this is going nowhere. This is not. Well, it's... What did I expect him to speak perfect English for me? We're not in the TARDIS. It's not going to translate languages for us. Hmm. I think we need to probably go away and. Well, maybe once Maggie, like, like Maggie says, once she realizes the language, we might be able to understand him. But for now, well, hey, thanks. It's been great talking to you. So long. You can go back to sleep now, or whatever. That's all. I'd better tell Maggie about this. Maggie. Come in, Maggie. Yes? What? Maggie, you won't believe what just happened. Boston, I think I've got it. I've got the language. I can read this stuff now. Can you speak it? Because I've got this... Well, take this inscription here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about... Maggie? My mind must be playing tricks on me. What were you saying about... Oh, what are you? What do you want? What's happening? What's going on? Boston! Brink! Anybody! Help! Maggie! Brink! Come in! Wherever you are, we need you! Something's happened to Maggie! Damn. Oh no! Something's happened to Maggie! We should help her! <laughs> no, really, we should. I just said, she probably has the answers to what that alien was saying. Oh, that's prelly. Oh, so, uh-oh, like we saw previous episode. See, I knew that creepy alien spider thing would come back to bite us. Oh, well, Robins, not us. <laughs> At least it's her and us. Uh, but now she needs saving. Great. And I, I assume we're going to need Brink's help with this. Because uh, she did ask for both of us. Maybe... Hmm. The thing is, Brink is sort of still obsessed with that machine. And I don't think he's going to be pulled away to help Maggie. I don't think he really cares about any of us anymore. So, we could go have a look by ourselves. Oh, but he's only around the corner. Whilst, whilst we're here, let's just go talk to him. Uh, if he was far away, maybe not, but he is quite close by. There he is. Oh, you actually see him now. Good. Uh, Brink. That's it, come over here. What are you doing here, Lowe? I don't want you here. Something happened to Maggie. She needs our help. Then go help her. What I'm doing here is important. Hey, if we felt that way about you, you'd still be dead. You're the tough guy, Lowe. You're the hero. Go do your hero activities and let me do the science. <sighs> still a jerk. Nope, completely still a jerk. Well, what are you doing here then? Oh. Oh, that's creepy. He just stopped and looked at me. What is this? What kind of contraption has Brink made here? 
Help me, you German fool. Brink. Listen, there's a there's a creepy giant monster. Maggie's in trouble. Then go help her. Oh, well, <laughs> that answers that question. What about the giant um, alien? It's not on here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there it is. Brink, there's a dead alien sealed inside a crystal tomb. In a culture that can raise the dead, they probably have a good reason when they choose to bury somebody instead of reviving him. Now leave me alone. That is a good point. Although at the same time, there's no one here to revive him. So maybe he was the last one or something. Either way, uh, let's... I really do want Brink to come with us, but I guess let's just go see what's... <laughs> the longer we wait, the more likely Maggie is to die. She's currently being held by a giant alien spider. So, whereabouts is she? She is at the museum... Museum? Yeah, the museum spire. So we should be able to shortcut if we go... How do we go? Um, how do we go? Oh, this isn't the right way, is it? No, hang on. Crap. Have I went completely the wrong way? Oh, light bridge. Light bridge. Right there. Right in front of me. I always forget about light bridges. Okay, so... Museum. Here we go. She's through here, isn't she? Oh, I love the double clicking to fast forward. That's really useful. And library. She's gone. Not a trace. Not a sign of struggle. Nothing. Yeah, actually that was a bit of a stupid move, wasn't it? Because the alien's going to take take her back to the, the nest where we saw it. Alright, wrong place altogether. <laughs> Let's go back. Now we need to go to the... I'm trying to remember the names now. It was the map spire, wasn't it? I think. Let's have a look. Map spire. Yes, this is it. So if we go back to the nest, which is that way and that way. Oh, I'm, I'm learning about the location now. I'm getting my way around, finally. Whoops. So it's down here. Nest. Oh, there she is. Hey. Maggie, is that you? Are you all right? Oh. How could you be all right bound up in that web like that? Ooh, dear. Um, yeah, so it definitely is a spider thing. God, what is that noise? Oh, it's probably that. <laughs> oh. This guy is big and nasty. He smells pretty bad, too. Yeah, I, I could imagine. Robins, let Robins. me help you. Uh, what about the monster? Maggie, I'll try to think of something to free you. Don't take too long. I think that thing likes me. That sounded very calm for the situation she's in. What about Brink? Brink's still running around loose in the world. Well, maybe you should go find him. The way it's going, it might take both of you to get me out of here. Mm, you see, I do think we need Brink for this. I really do. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Um, we can't go down there anyway, can we? Come on. No, you can't go down there. Damn, how are we going to... Oh, 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 oh. If I go there, it's lunchtime. His lunchtime. Okay, move back then. Move back. <laughs> oh, look at that creepy skeleton thing it is. Oh, we're out here. Boston, where are you going? I'm over here. Bring help. <laughs> We've just left her. Um, we didn't, oh, I mean, well, what do we, I didn't actually mean to click out of there then, but what could we actually do to help her? She's stuck in a sticky web, I imagine. Can we give her, maybe, can she try and pull on the spade, the shovel? The web is too strong for that to work. Okay, or the tusk. The web is too strong for that to work. Or, okay, well, can we cut the web with the jawbone? The web is too strong for that to work. No. No, you see, it's probably going to be something to do with that. It's staring me right in the face, the grate. Remember how we saw that the water can be diverted? Maybe we need to flush the spider away. Flush it away. Maybe we should do that now. Mm. Yeah, let's quickly try it now. 
Oh no, we can't go to there, can we? Damn it. If I go there, no. it's lunchtime. Okay, so that is probably what we're going to have to do, because that is the way to, to divert the water. But currently, we're being blocked by the evil monster. We might need Brink to be a distraction then, in that case. But I guess Maggie will have to stay there, trapped for the moment, because we'll do that next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!